Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. The earnings season has not disappointed. Google has really impressed the markets and it's going to do very well today. On the other hand, AMD, uh, though it came up with a good performance, its forecasts were not looking that great. But I wouldn't write off AMD because they are demonstrated their capability time and again and it's also likely to be a case of um, setting lower expectations and delivering above expectations in the next earnings so i'm holding on to my amd that said let's go and look at the market and see what we can find today let's get started Let's get started with the indices. Dow Futures is down 0.29%. Uh, S&P Futures are up 0.15%. Nasdaq Futures is up modestly 0.16%. Oil is up almost a percent. So things are looking just about balanced, but I'm thinking that uh, the earnings report from Alphabet is going to propel the MAG7 uh, group and that could help us during the day. I'm thinking that the AMD results are going to push down the entire semiconductor sector. We'll look at the stock market heat map and see where it ended yesterday and try to project where it could go today. But again, I think that the most important aspect right now for retail investors like us probably should be uh, to react and not to uh, try to gamble by forecasting. So let's keep that in mind. That's my personal opinion, not financial advice. Now I'm looking at uh, Bloomberg. I don't have any headings that I want to talk about. Then we have the economic uh, calendar where at around 8.30 a.m. this morning, we'll get the GDP growth rate quarter over quarter. And we'll also get the price index and core PC prices. All these numbers are going to be very helpful in getting a feel of whether it's a 25 basis point cut or it's a 50 basis point cut. So I think this will make a little bit of a difference. Right now I'm recording at 6.49 a.m. on 30th of October. So once this video is out, all these data will come out. And tomorrow uh, around 8.30 a.m. we've got the core PC, personal income and personal spending report coming out. All these are important data points and have a bearing on uh, the Fed rate, which again is going to determine the bond yields and therefore uh, the trajectory of our stock indices and our individual stocks. That said, let us look at the fear and greed index, which is at around 58, which is pretty reasonable. And then let's look at the stock market heat map. All the money had gone out of defensive sectors and into more growth oriented sectors like IT. And Google had a gain of 1.66 already yesterday. And uh, I think that today, uh, Microsoft, uh, Google, uh, Meta, these companies are likely to get more money into them. And um, a semiconductor, which was green yesterday, is likely to see a lot of red today, in my opinion, uh, including NVIDIA, TSM, AVGO, all of those. So let us see what happens uh, when the market opens. Right now, I would like to go and look at the NASDAQ index. And the NASDAQ index futures shows plus 0.16% gain. Uh, MACD is on top of the signal line and momentum is also above average. So I think that it's looking pretty decent and we have crossed a resistance of 20,664. I'm going to mark that as a support and things are looking pretty good this morning. And contrary to my opinion and fears, October turned out to be a pretty decent month. It was a bit of consolidation and a little move up and a little move down. But in the net, it has taken us very close to the all time highs. And we are facing a resistance of 503.52. And right now we are at 501.07. So just two percentage points away. And I think that um, uh, QQQ can do it. I think that NASDAQ can do it. Now let us look at uh, the AI uh, stocks that we have out here and um, Google is up 6.04%. So now our um, reverse head and shoulder target of around $190 uh, becomes more viable because we have started our move upward. The momentum is also picking up. The MACD is bullish. And they had a great earnings release. Uh, they surprised uh, on the EPS by 14.96%. And they surprised on the revenue with 2.17%. So overall, looking great and pulling the entire sector up. Tesla is up 0.39% and it still has a support at 255.91. So uh, we'll have to see how, how well that support holds up today. And I'm just going to mark a few of these others uh, as uh, support because we already crossed them. And there we go. So it's all set. 
uh, we have the support in place. Next, you will look at Apple, which is down 0.29%, but it's still on a bull channel, so not too much worried. Uh, let's look at Meta. Meta is up 2.03% continuing on the bull channel. And now I think again, I feel that 630, the reverse head and shoulder uh, target seems more viable right now. Uh, Amazon is up 1.93%. Uh, Microsoft is up 2.05%. Uh, AMD uh, is down 8.42% and it has fallen below this bull channel. So now what happens is that everything out here becomes a resistance and AMD will have to break out above the resistance. So two things can happen. We could start forming a new bear channel uh, or uh, we could start following this diagonal line of resistance on an inferior uh, bull channel. So those things are possible. Momentum is still high. Uh, MACD is bearish. So when the market opens, I expect the momentum to start dropping a little bit and the MACD becoming more bearish, a little bit of consolidation. And then this gap down that has happened today is going to act as a magnet to bring it back up as the days go by. Palantir is down 0.33%. Uh, FNGU uh, is up 3.59%. Broadcom is down 0.41% as expected. Oracle is up 0.46%. Uh, Micron is down 1.01%, Cloudflare is up 0.98%, uh, and then we have NVIDIA down 0.62%. NVIDIA is still in a bull channel, but the results from AMD has kind of put a negative um, spin into this so which would mean that we might if you trust that nvidia is still the leader and it's going to lead the path you might expect the price to come down to test some supports and uh, as we get closer to uh, the earnings uh, we'll see a little bit of consolidation and that would be an opportunity to buy because if nvidia is truly the leader its forecast would be way better than what amd uh, forecasted they are in two different environments altogether from a investment perspective so nvidia might be bold enough to give a um, bold prediction ahead and in in the past also nvidia's bold predictions seem to be under promised and over delivered at a later date so I'm thinking all that would work in favor of NVIDIA. Again, it's personal opinion, not financial advice. So the message is that if NVIDIA comes down, probably I would buy. Uh, then we have Qualcomm, which is down 2.70%, still above the bull channel, so not worried too much. SMCI is down 0.86%, still on a bull channel. Arm uh, holding is down 2.59%. Uh, ASML is down 2.90%. And we have Intel, which is down 1.09%. Intel is having a really terrible time. And then we have semiconductor ETF down 1.54%. Uh, and it is still above this uh, superior bull channel, but we'll see during the day if it falls below. In which case, no worries, we have another bull channel which is there to hold it. So that's uh, what I have for the AI segment. Then let's look at the genomic segment where PACB is down 2.43% in pre-market action. IMTX has no trades pre-market. Bluebird is up 0.02% in pre-market action. Ginkgo Bioworks no trade pre-market. Prime down 2. Prime down 0.25% in pre-market trades. Allogen down 5% in pre-market trades. Something bad has happened here. Let me see if there is any news. Allogen obtains FDS RMAT designation for advanced renal cell carcinoma. And Allogen receives FDA regenerative for the renal cell. Ah, so it's not a bad news. I'll have to dig and see why Allogen dropped. Um, then we have Iowa which is flat in pre-market trades. mRNA is up 0.54% in pre-market trades, trying valiantly to cross this diagonal line of resistance. It tried yesterday. Let us see if it manages to succeed today. MACD is looking decent. Momentum needs a lot of improvement. Beam is down 0.14% this morning. Uh, Intelia is uh, up 0.40% in pre-market trades, but still below this diagonal line of uh, resistance. I'm going to color this as red and then we have a huge gap down here which needs to be filled up and editas it's up 0.64 percent 
alt immune is up 0.27 percent uh, still staying above the diagonal line of support that's good caribou biosciences has got no trades pre-market crispr therapeutics is up 1.80 percent and it's firmly below uh, below this uh, resistance of 50.15 and above this support of 49.49 uh, that looks good to me and i think today our target is going to break above 50.15 and the macd is supporting the momentum has to pick up looking at the pre-market gain i think the momentum will support and we have the earnings coming up today. I suppose that it's likely to happen after hours or maybe I wouldn't be surprised if it happens a few days down the line uh, because we have never been sure about earning dates for any of our genomic companies. I'm going to try and make a video on CRISPR and release it today uh, as soon as possible. Uh, and then we are going to look at the next share, which is ARCG, which is ETF for uh, genomic sector, and it's down 1.13%. ARCG is not looking that great right now. It still seems to be in some kind of a bear channel. And then we have Grail, which has got no trades pre-market. Illumina is down 0.34% in pre-market trades, and Verve uh, is down 1.50%. So friends, that's what we have uh, today in the pre-market action. and. This also brings me to an end of the session today. Let me go and quickly uh, make a video on CRISPR and release it out for you guys, uh, assuming that they are going to report this evening. Uh, even otherwise, um, I don't think we're going to get too much information between now and when they report. So this is a, as good a time to recap where they are and what to expect. That said, I'll catch up with you again in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.